Hey guys, it's Big Bammer, and today I'm going to show you how if your Battle.net doesn't recognize where your games are located, uh, how you can fix that and how you can keep all your add-ons for them. I had a shitty thing happen with my Battle.net launcher where it wouldn't recognize that I had any other game on my computer other than Call of Duty. I've since fixed that, and I'll show you how to do that in this video. Um, I made it so that it understands where my classic files are and where my uh, retail files are wouldn't recommend playing retail those game fucking blows but this is what we're working with so the main thing i did um was obviously i was like okay this happened uh with all these games so i'll go locate it so i went through my uh my folders and i found you know where my classic era stuff was this is my world or wrath of the lich king folder this is where i would normally have you know the .exe file but for whatever reason it doesn't show up here um when when i hit this it says this does not contain the correct version of the game please try again so the fix that i found for this is you can do one of two things you can either go to the folder itself um and just open it up from the folder so for me it's in here under World of Warcraft, this is where my folders were all, this is where everything was saved to prior to the whatever happened with Battle.net. Um, I don't know why it saved it like this, like in like different World of Warcraft folders, but that's what happened. And then I got my classic here, and you saw it earlier, this list under the WTF folder didn't show up. Uh, the classic .exe file was not there, and it just, the, whatever, for whatever reason, this is not picking it up. Um, so, the fix that you can do and it's shitty, this is the only thing I found that's worked, to have it go back onto the Battle.net launcher, is you reinstall the game, but in a separate folder. So the way I did it was I took, I just made a new folder in my uh, C drive. I have one named Retail, I have one named Vanilla, and now I'm going to make a new one. I'm going to name it um, World of Warcraft uh, Wrath of the Lich King. Simple, right? So now you're just going to reinstall the game. And like I said, this is the only way really to get it to to work. Uh, if you want to use the Battle.net launcher, otherwise you're going to be opening it up from the folder. Um, so I'm going to set it so that my download for this file is going to go into the Wrath of the Lich King folder. And yeah, start install. And that's going to do its thing. And I will come back once this is done. Okay, so the download of the Wrath of the Lich King folder is uh, complete. So now if I click play on this, it'll load it up normally, but I'm not going to have any of my add-ons. Um, so what you have to do in order to get your add-ons is this classic under, or underscore classic underscore folder, which has the uh, exe file for running Wrath of the Lich King, is the one we're going to be replacing. So what I do is I just delete that because don't need that. That's, you know, just a fresh game. And I'll go over to where I originally had uh, my Wrath of the Lich King folder, which is right here, which I'll show you again. Um, it was in my, where I saved all my files when I use my Battle.net app. I have it set so it downloads to C, Program Files, World of Warcraft. Well, normally it was World of Warcraft, but now it's switched over to this because of the new folder. But it'll be, this is where the files generally are located, wherever that says they are. So for me, it used to be in the, uh, in the, just this World of Warcraft folder. I've had it for years. This has always been where it's uh, ended up. And in Classic Era, then another World of Warcraft, then we got that, then we got this, you know, and that's, I know I'm going pretty fast, but the gist of it is once you find the classic, underscore classic, underscore folder, and you click on it, it has the wowclassic.exe uh, application. This is the one you want to use, you know, just like the one we... Is this? How'd that get back there? I don't know how that got back there, but anyway, if that comes back, just delete it, get rid of it. Um, so yeah, we just, you know, cut this folder out, and we're going to paste it right into there. So now the uh, Wrath of the Lich King folder with all my add-ons um, everything that I was running while I was using Wrath of the Lich King, the settings that I had for them, that's all going to be right there. But now, as you can see, the Battle.net has an update. 
So all I have to do is update. It'll adjust, be like, okay, this is where that file location is. This is how I'm going to find it from now on. And boom, there you go. So now if I hit play, we'll load up Wrath of the Lich King Classic. And I did this uh, for Vanilla WoW, and I've done it for retail. And all my settings, everything's the same. Everything's working fine. Um, it just, for whatever reason, the battle net, like you guys have experienced, it wasn't locating the folders. Or it wasn't locating the exe file in the folders. Um, so we'll just log on to here, and there, you know. Of course, you got to have a add-on error right off the rip, right? But everything's the way I had it set up. My bartender's the same way I had it set up. All my add-ons are here. They're all running. All the ones I want to be running are running. Um, and yeah, everything's just set up. I did get rid of my weak ores because I wanted to get a new one. Uh, but I haven't played this game in a while, so I just never ended up doing it. So when I put my weak ores back on, that'll be obviously, you know, that'll work fine. Um, but like it, all the weak ores are here. Everything for my death knight, mage, rogue, everything that I needed. So... Um, yeah, I hope this helps. It sucks that, you know, you have to re-download the game, but you're not going to be using that file. you got all your add-ons and stuff stored, so you'll be able to just, you know, swap those two files out and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching. If it helped you, give me a like or a subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Have a good one.